Hello guys, some of you have requested me to record a tutorial on how you can actually format some kind of comic book or a visual novel uh, from the images that you created with Midjourney in Photoshop. And uh, in this uh, tutorial we'll get something like this. Mm. And uh, actually we will create like a template that you can use <clears throat> in order to create um, your pages fast and easy. So this is um, some kind of layout that we are going to create. And uh, imagine if we start from scratch, you would like to create a new file, get the dimensions that you actually would like to use. But uh, I will uh, suggest you to use uh, 300 pixels per inch resolution in order to get like a little bit sharper image in order if you would like to print this later <clears throat> it will be really important to uh, make this change but um, for the orientation you can use uh, anything you want so <clears throat> the first thing that we will actually uh, create let's so just delete it imagine you have uh, empty screen uh, the first thing what we would like to do is to set up our rulers for the borders and uh, in order to do this you can either click uh, ctrl r to show this or you can use uh, view rulers and uh, then you just uh, move this thing uh, from the edge press uh, on it, uh, left click and then choose edit selected guides here you can set up position that you would like. Uh, I've chosen 150 pixels, so you can see it snaps here. The same I did for the vertical uh, lines for the bottom and uh, for the right. <clears throat> so after you did this, you can choose your rectangular tool, fill this, choose select inverse, and then you would like to fill it with, uh, with the color of your choice. Uh, Right below, you can use Alt and Delete to fill this with your primary color, but you can also choose a Paint Bucket tool. So uh, this is uh, our like panels uh, thing. I have already created it here, so I, I will just use this. Once again, you select uh, the area, you inverse it, you press Alt Delete to fill this, and you get something like this. So actually after this you can remove the rulers if you would like, it doesn't really matter, you can leave this. And uh, the next thing, as you can see, I'll get this like uh, black border and uh, I have created it using uh, layer styles uh, and effects. So if you select your layer and then go to the effects and stroke, uh, you can create something like this. So for my settings, I've you I have chosen to use five pixels uh, wide uh, or, uh, stroke. Position is outside. You can experiment, but I feel like outside is the best. And also the color of your choice. I choose to to paint it black. Okay. So this is our panel. The next thing is that uh, I have created is. Uh, lines that we will actually divide this layout into panes. So I have uh, set up these two li lines, uh, one horizontal and one vertical of 50 pixels wide, and I just keep them hidden. And uh, if I need to uh, like set up my layout, what I do is I'll just move it uh, one layer above the pa panels. I can uh, like, uh, Put it in position that I want, something like this, for example. And if I press Ctrl plus E after this, uh, this layer will merge down with a layer underneath. And as you can see, we get this same border here. And uh, just to show you the idea, I can also do this, and we'll get some kind of like division. So in this uh, simple tutorial, I will just use two pictures, something like this. And before I actually I actually merge uh, this down, I will import some images that uh, I've created previously. So 
uh, those are not optimal for the size but it doesn't really matter for the tutorial something like this put it in the underneath layer actually put it in folder of images just to keep it uh, simple and like one more image here put it like this after this we can like set up where we need our line to be and press ctrl e right so we uh, created like simple layout of course you can do as many lines as you would like it will be uh, really easy to navigate this but uh, i guess you figure out how to create the line uh, itself i use like selection tool uh, there are a, a lot of uh, ideas how to create it but i'm not a pro at photoshop in any way so i'm pretty newbie uh, in, in this software but i have used it for a lot of years like uh, on the low level so the next thing that uh, we would actually need to create is our bubbles and uh, in order to create bubbles you just want to create a separate layer keep it empty and you would also like to give it the same stroke effect. Uh, as you can see it already here, <clears throat> I've used the same settings as previously. And right now this layer is empty. But what we can do is we can create this uh, elliptical marquee tool. We can just like put something like this or actually here. And if we press Alt Delete once again, we fill it with white color and we get this bubble uh, shape. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I will actually show you um, how to create a separate one. So we created two. And what we can do is we can just use simple brush tool to connect them. Uh, if we want to make the, those like pop, uh, with a longer dialog line you can use something like this and uh, when we actually want to get this to connect to the character's mouse I use a little bit different technique I will use pen tool and uh, just uh, on the layer on, on top it will actually create new layer I put uh, one dot somewhere in this uh, oval then where I want it to connect, and once again in oval. After this, uh, you can uh, click somewhere in the middle of this line to create a new point. And if you use Control and move it, you can see that we can actually change the position and the curvature of the line. So we create one dot here, one dot here, move it somewhere like here, and if we press Ctrl E once again, we will merge this down with the previous layer, the bubbles. And so we get something like this. Um, keep in mind that you can actually move this if you use Ctrl. So you can like change this, but it's uh, almost always better to just create a new shape if you messed up. But it's pretty okay, it's tutorial, we're not a perfectionist here. So you can create this kind of shape. If you want to delete it, you can just like uh, press Ctrl A, delete, all gone. And uh, so this is the main setup for the layout. And you can just create empty layers, and put it in folders, and it will be your layout that you can copy and paste your images and create separate panels in uh, separate files. So the next thing is to put our text and for the text, uh, the most important thing is to use a font that will be actually usable and will look good for your comic book or your novel. I use uh, Anime Ace. You can use any other thing you want. Uh, you can Google like comic fonts, things like that. You just put it here. Uh, you type something, something, something. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the most important thing is that you keep... Uh, uh, text centered put it like this and it should work but actually what I'll do uh, in order to create shapes that actually fit to the text is I first uh, paste my text where I want it to be 
and then I will actually circle it or oval it and then I'll create those bubbles something like this right doesn't really look good you need to experiment uh, with uh, angles to get uh, things look really good but it's the main idea so I would like to point out that in most of the letters uh, oh, excuse me in most of the fonts you use I only in separate uh, formation like when you say something like I uh, would like to go for a walk right but if you use I in some kind of a word you instead want to use this kind of uh, letter so for example like this what this is wrong you need to change it and uh, people who are really into comics will get mad at you if you don't do this and it actually looks way better this way so keep in mind um, I think it's those are the main things you can experiment at uh, like some other types of bubbles for example we can do something like this it's not the best way i guess but i'll do it fast just to get you the idea of how you can do other types of bubbles you feel it it's, um, it's bad it's actually bad but uh you would like to have the angles not crossing this line and uh, if you do it this way it will look better so yeah this is the tutorial and uh, in the part two i will show you how to add like big uh, letters with some effects uh, so you can communicate some other ideas and uh, also i forgot that you can also use rectangle or tool to do something like this if you would like to provide some text for the background and not for the character but i bet you figure it out so thanks for watching have a good day